Good evening, Jennifer. Do you listen to me? Good evening, teacher. Okay. Um, I can hear you. Okay, great. Yeah, because someone was telling me that there was a problem. But thank you for answering. And in about six minutes, we're going to get started, okay? Thank you for joining. Okay.
Good evening. Good evening. Welcome. Thanks for joining. Really? Why, Mr. Edwin Esau? Tell me. Are you sick of your throat? Okay, class, it's time to get started. So here we go. Let's begin. Welcome, Mr. Guillermo Eduardo Abrego, Miss Jennifer Beatriz Mejia, Mr. Miguel Angel Santos, and Mr. Edwin Esaú Caldames, okay? Today is our class number five, and it means that you must have been working on your platform, and I was checking before opening the class, and some of you have uh, worked 100% for unit number one, section one, but some others are still a little bit behind. Okay, have worked 60%, 80%, I need you to finish. And some others, well, on them because they are working on section number two. Okay, in order to finish on time and respecting on your behalf, because you are punctual, I'm going to start sharing my PPT with you as every single day. And here we go. Okay, class. Here. Today is uh, September 12th, 2023, and our class goes like this. In our agenda, we have the welcoming, what I always do first. We're going to read the objectives, and we're going to apply vocabulary learned during previous classes today. Also, you are going to identify the characteristics of a good manager but also you will describe the requirements of the perfect manager, identify true and false statements, and review the knowledge acquired, okay? What you have been studying. And then again, a reminder, this is associated to what I was telling you before I started to share the, the PPT, your homeworks and evaluations. Congratulations for the ones who have completed the section number one in a hundred percent. Some others have their work in section one in 80%, 92%. You will still have time in order to finish the hundred percent of the exercises for section one. And some others, I am so glad with them because they are working in section number two. They are done section one and they are working on section two. Remember, section two has uh, an exam, a midterm test. And then said so that here we go over the requirements, okay? And I'm going to ask uh, Miss Jennifer Beatriz, would you please help us reading this information? Of course. Requerimientos, nombre completo al conectarse a la plataforma, En el caso de oyentes, agregar palabra oyente luego de su nombre. Cámara encendida durante toda la sesión. Minimizar el sonido ambiente lo más posible. Participación activa. Excelente. Very well. Thank you so much, Miss Jennifer. And you know that all of these bullets are important. Full name, as you always do. In the case of listeners, write oyente or listener uh, close to your name. Cameras on, that is the spirit, okay? The sound, as I told you, since the very first day, because when there are interruptions, the other people cannot listen clearly. And active participation, as you always do in class. Then we have here also a reminder, all the 100% of attendance. Remember that if you don't uh, connect to the class, the administration is going to call you or maybe the human resources in your company. Again, just to remind you, 
the attendance is taken twice, two times, and it is going to be effective when you say presente here, here I am, okay? And the one-on-one -on -one session for one of you is available. Permissions are not available. I don't have the authorization. I am not allowed to give permission to anybody to skip classes, to be absent, no. You write to, to the administration of the academy, uh, English Corporativo, and they are going to consider, they take notes and they send your information to InstaCorp and that's it. That's the way it works. Again, this is the expectation, everybody with the cameras on, the microphone off, the two chats available, breakout rooms, and when we are working in the breakout rooms, you may ask for help and respect above all. That is mandatory. That is an obligation to respect one another, okay? To treat others the way you want to be treated. And here today is, as I was mentioning, from the very beginning today, September the 12th, so at midnight, Okay, section one must be over. Again, congratulations to the ones who are finished, are done with section one. And tomorrow we start week number two and section number two. Remember that in uh, this week number two, you are going to have to submit a midterm test. And here, now that I have more participants, I need one volunteer to read the objectives for today. I'm here waiting for that participant. It can be a he or a she, no problem. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Objectives. General objective. Participants will be dis will describe their work creator information such as abilities, benefits, experience, use. Time expressions. Specific audience. Participants will be able to practice how to provide their work related information. Class of care. At the end of the class, participants will write a, par a paragraph about my work experience. Thanks a lot. So at the end, this is what you're going to do. You, uh, we expect that you write a paragraph about your work experience, okay? This is going to be an individual work. Thank you so much, Ms. Carla. Then let's continue. Uh, the first activity is going to be writing a list of vocabulary studied in the unit. But before we go over that class, let's have a brief feedback on what we did yesterday. Here, if you remember our highlight yesterday or big purpose, the main objective was to fill in a job application and provide the specific info related to work experience, your work experience, because everything is associated and you are going to use this, what we did yesterday, to construct your paragraph about your work experience. Yesterday, as activity number one, you were asking and answering these questions. Later, you practiced this conversation and you made it personal because you recreated this conversation using your real information. In order to go over, ah, we also answered these two questions based on the info that we have here in this conversation between Blanca and Alan. And after that, you went back to the main, uh, to the breakout rooms in order to interview your partners and fill in this application form uh, for employment. Yes? Do you remember you did it? I remember Carla interviewed uh, a partner. Let me see. Uh, do you remember, Carla, who you interviewed too? Do you remember, Carla, your partner? 
that you interviewed here in the in the main session room to complete this application form for employment? I think it was Andrea. Okay. So your victim was Andre. Excellent. And you represented the human resources of the company. Great. Excellent. And you did this with uh, your partners, okay? Remember that here there are many important details. Date, position applied for, uh, the name, the address, phone number, your sex if you are male or female, date of birth, social security number, driver's license if you have one, yes or no, and here the employment history. This is really important. And then education, the degree obtained, the institution, and the date, okay, when you graduated or obtained that degree. And now we're going to go over this activity and here. I'm going to read, let me see, what do I have over here? Mm, okay, Andre. And then here, as I was telling you, class, what are we going to do right now as a, our activity? We're going to write a list of vocabulary studied in the unit. As a class, I need you to listen to the instructions, please. You are going to work in a small groups, okay? In the breakout rooms, you write a list of words the vocabulary study in unit one. So you're going to produce a list of words or vocabulary list taken from all the classes that we have been practicing with in unit number one in your manual, okay? As a group, not individual, okay? You collaborate, giving words to your partners. One list per group. And then when we return as a class uh, work, you are going to volunteer one uh, representative or two, I don't know. You decide the participation to share your work here in the main session room. Is that okay? Is it clear? Yes, teacher. Okay, so thank you for your answer. Now I'm going to transfer you to the breakout rooms and remember that everybody needs to cooperate, okay? So um, I'm going to ask the platform to create the groups. And let's see how many students. Okay, here we go. If someone joins later on, I'm going to ask them to join your groups, okay? So I'm going to share with you right now the invitation so you can join the breakout rooms. Here we go. Okay, go to your groups, please. David Emanuel, I'm going to send you the invitation right now, okay? Okay, teacher. Okay. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome. You are really welcome. And right now I am sending you the invitation, okay? Go to your group, David. Thanks for joining. Okay. okay, Andre, even though you are a listener, I suggest you to join your group so you can get your, okay, your attendance. Eduardo Flores, I'm going to send you the invitation right now, okay? So you can join the different groups. But let me tell you what we are going to do. Right now, we are in the first activity, okay? That you are going to, uh, to perform. And here it goes. The idea is that you write a list of vocabulary studied in the unit. So you work in a small groups and as a group, you write a list of words. In other words, vocabulary studied in class, but it is not going to be individual. All the participants are going to cooperate and you as a group write one list. 
of the vocabulary that you consider is the most important on, uh, on unit number one. When we come back, one or two of the people in the group are going to share with the class. Is that okay? Because today is review time. Hello, Carlos. Okay, so I'm going to send you the invitation right now, okay? okay let me see. Okay, here. Edward, please uh, go to group number four. And Carlos, go to group number three. If you are so nice, please join your groups. And let's get started, okay? Okay, Carlos, your group number three is waiting for you. Okay. En este caso, este abilities sería como una primera, ¿verdad? Abilities o qualifications. Qualification two. Puede ser también fat learner, eh, aprender rápido. Teacher, la molesta si me autoriza de nuevo a compartir pantalla por ti. Eh, really, Miss. Ay, no. Ok, this thing. Thank you. Ok. Now, do you see? Ok, great. Sí, listo. Para ir okay. a y hacer yes. la lista. Excellent, amazing. Great, because uh, as I was listening, you have about five words, yes? In here, how many people are effective working with Carla? Only Daniel. Um, I guess so. Okay, thank you. Because if someone else joins, I'm going to ask him or her to join your group, okay? Thank you. Uh, manager qualifications, job projects, excellent. Very well. Spreadsheets, learner, excellent. Good. Uh, teacher, um, I have a question uh, about midterm exam. Ah, but you mean in the in the in week number two, section two? No, I have to do it by myself. Yes, you have. Or... No, you have to do it individually whenever uh, you have time. Okay. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. And I was checking, by the way, the learning uh, platform, and I could perceive that you have been working about 92%, yes? In uh, section one. Mm -hmm. I did. Let me see. Uh -huh. I think so. Yeah. 92%. <laughs> yes. I have to, to, to work section one and, and section two, right? Yes. Okay. But if it is possible, try to get the 100% in each, yes? So Because I don't know if at the end you're going to have your grade in the in the diploma. And it is good to, to get a good grade. Okay. Uh -huh. uh, see you later because I'm going to talk to the other people, okay, in the other teams. See okay. you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. My pleasure. O, o escriban la, 
ahí vamos a ir escribiendo en el chat de aquí y después le hacemos una captura de pantalla. No, okay. lo vamos a compartir con la clase, o sea, no compartir pantalla, pero vamos a compartir lo que estamos haciendo. De uh -huh. manera... no, por... uh -huh. Ah, ok. Ah, sí, ya para tenerlo todo es igual. Uh -huh. sí. Vamos a ver cuál otra. Hey, Ursula is uh, giving you one word in the chat. No, I was reading your, your words in the chat. Okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> Which one? Other words? Another word? Do you have another word? Not now. Is somebody there? Nobody answers to Esteli. Until. Sí. Como califica. califica. No. Son como tus habilidades. ¿Qué es lo que puedes hacer? No son calificaciones. Me dice Klingon. No sé Klingon. Algo así comprendo yo esa palabra. Um, qualifications in this case, Miss, is like your skills. Sí. What can you uh, can provide or give to the company? Yes. For oh, example, okay. your your uh, your degree or your experience. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Because it also has the other meaning when we say the quality department, but that is another context, quality department, okay? In that case, it is as a noun. Okay. Inventory. Oh, Perry. Independent. Less hours. Hours. La, la respuesta no es igual a la, a la de la plataforma. Entonces se cambia staff por employee. Staff por employee. Okay. Disculpen, ¿cuál página están? No. Um, Toda la unidad de uno. They are producing a list. They are in the production time. Productivity. On the language. Vocabulary. Vocabulary oh. practice. They are creating a list. A okay. list of words that are important in your opinion. In unit number one. Okay. To review the vocabulary. Okay.
And in this group, who is writing the list? Um, I'm writing mm -hmm. it in da Daniel too. Okay, because remember, you need to have the same words because you are going to share with the class in the main session room. Okay. Okay. Only one, only fewer in second because the the third you no know, is the unit one. Vocabulary. Oh, or the Leo, yeah. Vocabulary only for from unit one. Okay. No. Uh, okay. Huh. Okay. Okay, I write it. Learning. Aprendizaje rápido, fast learning. Learning. Now, yes, yes. Another one. I think only, or oh, I don't know if you have another. Okay. 
work or not? I think we finished, teacher. Eh, tengo otra palabra. Other okay. word. Other in word. The page, in the page 12, section oh. 5, section 5, mm -hmm. eh, sentence, sentence 1, sentence eh, one. abroad, abroad. Mm. Uh, ya la tenemos that, that word ah, ya la in puesto. the chat yes ah, okay okay es que esta se escribe words. con a mayúscula esta era con a mayúscula la que ustedes pusieron era con a minúscula <risa> <risa> okay. we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten ten words uh -huh. ten words yeah. Thank you, class. I'm going to call your names, okay? For your first attendance control. Ana Cristina? Absent. Andre? Andre? I see his name, but I don't see him. Areli Isabel? Present teacher. Thank you, Miss Arely. Carlos Enrique Rivas. Present teacher. Thank you, Carlos. Daniel Ernesto Membreño. Present. Thank you, Dani. David Emanuel. Present teacher. Okay. Thank you, Andre. Daisy Carolina. Daisy. Is Present teacher. Okay. Thank you, Daisy. Edwin Esaú. Mm, hasta Lísene. Elizabeth, Miss Carla Minero. Ok. Evelyn Jamilet. Thank you, Miss Carla. Evelyn Jamilet. Eh, Evelyn. It's, it's real. Ok. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because she's always very early. Um, Miss Ipon Menjivar. Present teacher. Thank you. Guillermo Eduardo. Present teacher. Thank you, Edward. Henry Giovanni. Henry Giovanni, I saw you. 
Henry Giovanni where are you he lost the connectivity again okay and Jennifer always here present teacher yeah the same as Miss Evelyn Juan Eduardo Flores Edward Flores are you here here Edward? teacher oh yes thank you teacher That's, yes I have problem with my internet Okay, no problem. Remember that when you lost the connectivity, you get back, okay? Okay. Mm -hmm. We always have problems with the internet in our country. Catherine, Catherine Beatriz? Present teacher. You, Miss Catherine. Katia Maria? Kathy? Uh, Maritza Elizabeth? Present teacher. Thank you, Miss Maritza. Miguel Ángel Santos. Present teacher. Thank you, Miguel. Noé Gustavo Núñez. Present teacher. Ah, just in time. Oscar Eduardo Meléndez. Present. Mm -hmm. Eduardo, we're going to talk. Oscar Humberto Argueta. Absent. Reina Elizabeth García. Present. Thank you, Reina. Now, the second part. Rosalie Yvonne. Present. Thank you, Miss Rosalie. Sonia Esmeralda Mauricio. Present teacher. Great. Susan Carolina. Susana Carolina Mauricio, absent. Ursula Celi. Present teacher. Okay. I was about to say, I saw you. <laughs> and Miss Ana Cristina, always a listener. Okay. Okay, class, thanks for your attendance and your very active participation in the breakout rooms for this activity. Now let's start, okay, the a uh, highlight for this activity, the sharing. We're going to start with group number one. In team number one, we have Jennifer Beatriz, Miguel Angel, Noe Gustavo, Rosalie Yvonne, and Sonia Esmeralda, okay? Feel free to share. If you want to share the screen, no problem. If you just want to share orally, no problem. Everything is okay. We are all ears for you. Okay, this is the vocabulary we discuss in the in the group. In the group. We start with past learner, skills, interview, abilities, qualifications, spreadsheets, manage, branch, offering or offered. Employee, classmates, asset, comfortable, provide benefits, experience, possibilities, sales, training, independence, less hours, born, quiet, until, then, since, long, from, graduated, almost retired, successful, chronic, chronic medical condition, hypertension, employment, and degree obtained. Okay, thank you. Great. There is only one suggestion. If you notice, abilities is in red because in English we don't write ability with H, without H. Aha, uh -huh, magic okay. comes true. Thank you. Thank you. Great. Good job, class. Excellent. Now let's see group number two. Team number two, the members are Arely Isabel, Dani Ernesto, Edwin Esaú, and Carla Minero. Because Oscar Eduardo is a listener and also Andre. Okay, people. Okay. Hello, that vocabulary is manager, qualification, job, project, sales, branch, positions, spreadsheet, learner, company, independent, job, 
from science, then until born employment abilities, teamwork, technically, import, extra work, others, comfortable opportunity, employee, asset, company, date of employment, name of company, job leader, leader duties, degree, and institution, date for birth. Date of birth. That's all. Yes? Uh, yes. Yeah. Okay, very well done. Thanks for sharing with the class. Now let's go over team number three. Here we have the following participants. Carlos Rivas, David Emanuel, Daisy Caroline, Maritza Elizabeth, and Miss Ursula Esteli. Okay. Who is or are going to share? Hello, teacher. Hello, David. My, my, no, our, our vocabulary is short. Only, only 10 words. Okay, go Spr ahead. Spritches, branch, qualification, word, unscribable, abroad, until, asset, regarding, and fast learner. Thank you so much. Great. Spreadsheets. Spreadsheets. Okay. Spreadsheets. Mm -hmm. Great. Let's listen to group number four. In here we have Guillermo Eduardo, Kilibon, and Catherine Beatrice. Only three people. Who is going to share in that group? Me, teacher. Oh, please. Uh, can you see the image? Okay. Um, the vocabulary, um, spreadsheets, great asset, qualification, manage, sales, learner, required, projects, languages, comfortable, opportunity, and abroad. Thanks for sharing, very well done. Okay, congrats to the groups that participated in this activity. Okay, excellent, good job. And then let's move to the next activity, okay? This is what we did. Now, this is something that was just, okay, as an example, as I told you, and I showed you. Things from long until then and blah, 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 okay? But you wrote your list. Now, we're going to go over a reading. Uh, it is a reading, an article on the perfect manager. The idea or purpose here, class, is that you read this internet article, five requirements of, uh, perfect, of the perfect manager. So, as a class, I need you to turn your books at page 17, please. You're going to listen to the teacher with the article. Later, you're going to read after the teacher. And afterwards, you're going to be transferred to the breakout rooms so you can continue with the reading practice. And here we go. Okay, over here and over here. Here we have read this internet article, okay? Five requirements of the perfect manager according to this article. Number one, be a people person. Number two, be a good communicator. Number three, be technically proficient. And number four, encourage teamwork. But also number five, lead by example, okay? So those are the five characteristics on this article 
in order to become the perfect manager. Nurkzad is people and we are looking for managers who like people because in some companies you have noticed that maybe in the public institution people are working but those people don't like people because they don't treat with um, nice manners to others. So, but in this company, Norxod is people and we are looking for managers who like people. You should be comfortable with conflict resolution. You should know how people work and know how to motivate your team. If you are better with computers than people and understand Klingon better than English, you are not a good fit for our managerial team. Number two, be a good communicator. You should be able to communicate effectively using all methods, including visual presentations, public speaking, email, teleconferencing, and face-to-face. -face. Good communication is a two-way street. You will be required to routinely update your employees on their and the team's performance, and you will communicate and feedback from upper management and customers and provide status information when asked. Number three, be technically proficient. The products we create at Nuxod are technically complicated. You don't need to be able to code in C number, but you should be able to give technical guidance and decide the best strategies and methods for success. And no, having watched Happy Feet on the march of the penguins does not qualify you as technically proficient in Linux. Encourage teamwork. Teamwork is important at Northside. Not only are you required to encourage the best practices for building teamwork, you are considered a part of the team. We have no doors at Northside for you to hide behind. In fact, we have no traditional office space for managers. You are required to sit and work with your staff. Number five, lead by example. The best managers lead by example are not so. All managers are required to dress and act professionally at all times and to be able to give guidance and help when needed. Leading by example means working late and on weekends with your employees, working with your employees and using the same washroom as your employees. It's all about doing instead of pontificating and doing the right thing, adapted from techrepublic.com. Okay, so this is the article we're going to be working with. So right now, class, as you can see, we have five paragraphs. I need five people, five participants in order to read one of these uh, paragraphs, okay? <laughs> Who's going to read paragraph number one? Hello? One volunteer for paragraph number one? <laughs> Maybe I, I lost the connectivity. Okay, David, you are, uh, okay. Paragraph number one is for David, for Guillermo Eduardo, paragraph number two. Okay, Guillermo Eduardo, paragraph number two. Uh, paragraph number two, number three. Okay. Paragraph number, uh, okay, who? Rosalina. Okay, Rosalina, number three. Catherine? Number four and number five, there was a boy, uh, Miguel Angel. Yes? Is that okay? Yes. Okay, here we go. Let's listen carefully because later you're going to discuss this. Uh, let's begin with paragraph number one. Okay, teacher, number one. 
be a people person. North South is people and we are looking for manager who like people. You should be comfortable with conflict resolution. You should know how people know work and know how to motivate your team. If you are better with computer that people and understand clean code, better than English, you are not a good fit for our manager managerial team. Okay, now paragraph number two. Hello. Who was going to read paragraph number two? Me, teacher. Okay, please, Guillermo, right? Yes. Okay, um, please. Be a good communicator. You should be able to communicate effectively using all methods, including visual presentation, public speaking, email, teleconferencing, and face-to-face. -face. Good communication is a two-way street you will be required to routinely update your employees on their and then team's performance. You will communicate and feedback from upper management and customers and provide the status information when asked. Hey, thanks a lot, sir. Now the turn for paragraph number three. Who is going to help us? Be technically proficient. The products we create at North North South are technically complicated. You don't need the, to be able to call in C number, but you should be able to give technical guidance and decide the best strategies and methods for social and not having watched happy feet or the march of the penguin does not qualify you are technically proficient in lines. Great, thanks a lot. Now number four, paragraph number four, encourage teamwork. Okay? Me. Please. And encourage teamwork. Teamwork is important at North So not only are you required to encourage the best practice for building teamwork. You are considering a part of the law of the team. Sorry, we had no door at North So for you to hide behind. In fact, we had no traditional office is paid to manager. For managers, you are required to sit and work with your staff. Great. Now, paragraph number five. Okay. Lead by example. The best managers lead by example at Noxot. All managers are required to dress and act as professionality at all time and to be available to give guidance and help when needed. Leading by example means working late and on weekends with your employees, parking with your employees and using the same washroom as your employees. It's all about doing instead of pontificating and doing the right thing. Great, thanks a lot, class. You did a good job reading. Right now, uh, I need you to tell me, okay, which are the five requirements of the perfect manager? One volunteer? Tell me the five requirements of the perfect manager. Mm. I know. Number one, uh -huh. 
Number one, be a people person. Okay. Number two, mm. be a good communicator. Great. Number three, be technically proficient. Okay. Number four, encourage teamwork. Okay. And number five, lead by example. Okay. I think that probably we all agree that these five uh, requirements, I okay, that these five requirements are excellent for a perfect uh, manager, but there are some other characteristics that maybe you as employee would like to see or would like that your manager, your general manager, or your manager, the closest to you, the one that you report to, uh, would have, yes? So, right now, class, we're going to work in the breakout rooms. You are going to read these uh, paragraphs, taking turns as your classmates did, and when you finish, okay, reading all the paragraphs, you are going to write as a group the list of the qualities that you consider the perfect manager should have. Is that okay? Because this is okay, but only five, but, uh, but you are working or maybe you have worked with other type of managers and you would like to have the perfect manager with these characteristics or qualities, blah, 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 okay? And you share later with the class. Are the instructions clear? Yes, teacher. Ay, okay. Happy smile, no tears. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because and when you don't answer, I believe that I have lost the connectivity. Please don't do that to me. Okay. Yeah, because everybody, uh, many people are reporting problems with the connectivity tonight. Okay, I'm going to recreate the groups. Okay, here we go. Let's see. But remember that mm, sometimes we believe that, okay, let me see. I have, uh, in almost all the groups, there is a, a one listener. Today, hey, what's going on? A lot of people are listeners. Hmm. Let me see. Um, okay, okay, here. Move to group five. Um, then. Let me see. Move to group one. Hold it because I am making some movements because in one group all the participants were listeners. Too many people as listeners today. And I need you to practice the language, but with a listener you cannot practice. Mm. Let me see. Okay, I'm going to ask you to join your groups and let's begin to reading first, okay? The different paragraphs, all the participants in the team and later you write your own list of characteristics for the perfect manager. Here we go. Henry Giovanni, go to your group. Your classmates are waiting for you. Edwin Esaú, Ursula Esteli, go to your group. 
Andre and me, Santa Cristina, please go to your groups. Entonces, comenzamos. ¿Quién comienza? Uh, number one, be a people person. Nurse, nurse is people and we are looking for managers who like people. You should be comfortable with conflict resolution. Hello class, remember that the first activity is that you have to read. I think that here Miss Jill Yvonne, David Emanuel and Miguel Angel, because the other participants, they say they are listeners. Okay, let me see. And we are in group number, okay. Edwin Esaun goes to group number one. Okay, class. Teacher, sorry. Uh, uh, you can repeat the indication. Okay, mm -hmm. you are going to read. Okay, take turns reading the, the paragraphs at page 17. Here, these ones, okay? The same as your classmates did in the main session room. One is going to read paragraph one, the other one is going to read paragraph two, then the other paragraph three, four, and five, okay? When you finish doing this activity, you are going to write a list of qualities or characteristics that, in your opinion, as a group, the perfect manager must have. Yes? Okay, teacher. Thank okay, you. Okay, my pleasure. Great. So you begin reading. You decide who is going to read paragraph one, two, three, and four, and five. Okay? okay. That's it. Yes. Who is beginning, classmate? Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, good communication with the other person. Be the Be better with the computer. Be better. Be, beginning, but we have to tra tra traditional office space for manager. You are required to sit and work with your staff. Okay, let me. Led by example. The best manager led the example and not short. All managers are required to dress and act professionally at our time and to be able to give guidance and help when needed. Leading the example means working late and on weekends with your employer, employees, parking with your employees and using the same washroom as your employ employees, it is an about doing instead of pontificating and doing the right thing. Okay, entonces ahora eh, las características. 
Es un problema mi ahí, teacher. Es, está lloviendo y casi no escucho. You have to do like this. Ah, okay, like this. Mm -hmm. So you listen only to your classmates. And the people here, Reina, Maritza Elizabeth, and Carlos Rivas, please speak aloud so Noé Gustavo can listen to you better, okay? Hablemos más fuerte, chicos y chicas, Carlos, Maritza, and Reina, para que Noé Gustavo les pueda escuchar por el problema de la heavy rain, okay? Okay, thank you. Because right now I think that you are going to start writing the list of the qualities for the perfect manager. Yes, that in your opinion, that would be mm, the excellent, the perfect manager. Okay? okay? Okay. Okay. Great. And maybe, Noe, you should um, share your opinions via chat if there is a problem with the rain, the noise. For the rain. Okay. okay, great, excellent. There is always a solution. Okay, see you later. Okay. Este, una de las características del gerente perfecto. And we are looking for managers who like people. You should be comfortable with conflict resolution. You should know how people work and know how to motivate your team. If you are better with computer than people and understand Klingon better than English, you are not a good fit for our manager managerial team. Okay, very well. Congrats. Continue. Nos faltan dos teachers y este. Porque tal vez es Brian y me en mi casa está viniendo fuerte. Andrein and Don. Dani, Dani, but we uh, we listen to you perfectly. Sí, le escuchamos bien. Go ahead, read. No, we listen to you, great. Okay. Okay. Number two. Number two. Okay, the good communication. We should be able to communicate effectively using our methods. Including visual presentation, public speech, email, teleconferencing, and face to face. Good communication is two way through. You will, you will be required to recommendly uh, update your employees and their and the team's good format. You will communicate any feedback from upper management. Management and customer and provide a start, a start a status information to an escape. As be technical proficient, the product we create at Noxor are technically complicated. You don't need to be able, able the coding in C number. By but you, you should be able to give technical uh, guidance uh, and decide the best strategies and method for success and now having watch a happy fit or the march or the pengish does not qualify you as technical profic proficient in Linux. 
Me number four. Encourage teamwork. Teamwork is important at Northwood. Not only are you required to encourage the best practice for building teamwork, you are considered a part of the team. We have no doors at Northwood for to hide behind. In fact, we have no tradition, no traditional office space for managers. You are required to sit and work with your staff. Lead by example. The best managers lead by example at Noxor managers I require required do to dress and act professionally at all times and to be available to give guidance guidance and help when need learning by example means working late and um weekends with your employees parking with your employees and using the sun washroom as your employees is all about doing in size of bon pontificating como me dijo compañera perdón pontificating pontificating and doing the right thing doing pontificating pontificating and doing the right thing. The best managers lead by example at Nurksol. All managers are required to dress and act professionally at all times and to be available to give guidance, guidance and help when needed. Leading by example means working late and on weekends with your employees. Not only the employees, you as a manager, you work with the employees at night, during the day, and on the weekends if it is necessary. Parking with your employees, no special parking. And using the same washroom as your employees. It's all about doing instead of pontificating, okay? And doing the right thing. Now... I don't know your next step, if you're going to start creating your list of the qualities, okay, for the perfect manager, or if you did it. So you continue with the activity and see you later. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Okay. okay. Saber resolver conflicto también. A good, good leader, emotional stability, stability, emotional stability. Yeah. Motivation, uh, the team. Team motivation, but I don't know if it's in the number four and four as symbol. I think the okay. perfect manager will, will be a open mind. Okay, to be uh, motivation to continually learn.
Okay, another requirement for her. Teacher, can I go for a glass of water? Yes, of course. But okay. keep connected, okay? Yes. <laughs> no problem. Jennifer, are you working with Catherine and Edward? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, great. Uh, yeah, because uh, some of your partners are having problems with the connectivity because of the heavy rain in some places, okay? But that's good that all of you have a good connectivity. Okay, see you later. Yeah. Are you about to finish? Yes, almost. Almost, yes. Okay, great. Thank you. No sé qué, no, no creo que sea característico que sea profesional. Una característica es ayuda a quien lo necesita. Y tal vez se podría decir que no es acepción de persona o es opción de persona. ¿Cómo? Este, puede también una característica, puede ser que no hace excepción, no es excepción de personas o no sé si se dice acepción. Mm. Porque dice que usa el mismo washroom. Eh, lo podemos también poner así como requiere eh, require to sit and work with your staff. With the staff. With the staff, because remember it's, it's a general. Characteristic, but that is good, no? Okay, with the staff. With the staff. Yes. Okay. With the staff. Excellent. Okay, Carlos says professional and ethical.
tienen otra más. Hello, class. Reina, mi nombre es Carlos. Do you have another one? Ask Maritza Elizabeth. No, no more characteristics. No, how, teacher. How many did you get? How many characteristics? Ten. Six? Ten. 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 Ah, okay, great. That's good. Let's return them and then we can share, okay? Okay. okay. Thank you. Okay, class, um, we're going to share your production in the English language, your list of qualities or characteristics that you consider the perfect manager should have. But I forgot to take the picture at the beginning of the class because too many activities, okay, and time runs. So I'm going to ask you to activate the cameras if you are so nice. So we can share with the administration your attendance. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. And unfortunately, some of your partners lost the connectivity. They are not going to be able to. We are in the picture. Maybe later on they can join. Thank you. Thank you, Catherine. Thank you, Noe. Okay, to the count of three, here we go. One, two, three. Say yes. Hello. Thank you. Uy, what happened? What happened here? Okay, but the picture was taken. Believe me. Uh, I'm going to share it right now via WhatsApp with you. Okay. And now, here we go. Okay, groups. Uh, let's start with... Group number five. Here you are, Carlos, Rivas, Maritza, Elizabeth, Noah, Noe, Gustavo, and Reina Elizabeth. Please share with the class. Okay. Okay, class, who is going to, to share in that group? Yes. Uh, okay. The, char the characteristics of perfect manager are uh, number one, sociable, uh, two, empathic, three, motivate your team, and four, ability. A ability to lead a five public speaking skills, six work with your staff, seven honestly, honestly, eight should be able to give a technical within, nine 
he or she teaches by example. And ten, he is no not respect respecter of person. Person. That's all. A respectful person treats others with respect. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Now, well done. Let's listen to the next team. Okay. In the next team, we have group number one. Oscar Eduardo, Patricia Listener, Daniel, Edwin Esaú, Carla Minero, Rosalie Bon, and Sonia Esmeralda. The requirements of the perfect manual is um, teamwork, share your, your knowledge, and authentic, a good listener, discipline, protect the, the team, exemplary person, and empathic person. Empathic person. Okay, excellent. Very well done. Later, we're going to discuss because uh, you are mentioning some characteristics that, okay, you share, you have in common. It's time to listen to Eduardo Flores, Guillermo Eduardo, Henry Giovanni, Jennifer, and Catherine. Jennifer Beatriz and Catherine Beatriz. The same team. Okay. Okay, teacher. Uh, well, the number one, I think that is important to be comfortable with the conflict and try to get a solution. Also now how people work and now how to motivate the others um, I think uh, it's important to be better with the computer to develop um, in the best way our position in our company and decide the best method to have success okay Thank you. Great. Remember that those are your opinions. So everything is acceptable because it is your opinion. And now here, Daisy Carolina, Jill Yvonne, Miguel Angel, and Ms. Esteli Gonzalez Martinez. Hello. Hello, Ms. Esteli. Mm -hmm. Um, requirements of the perfect manager uh, could be a good leader um, be emotional stability uh, could be open mind and uh, very optimist uh, 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 could be a uh, empathy and good listener. Empathic and good listener. Okay. Yes. Thanks a lot, class. I think all the groups are done. And here we continue. Let's see. Ah, okay. Here in the readings, in each paragraph, you can find some others. For example, a manager who must like people, yeah, because they are going to work with human resources, with human beings. And also here you can find another one. Must be a conflict resolution friend, yes? Some of you mentioned that a good manager must know. It is mandatory to know how people work. 
because if you don't know how people work, how are you going to be demanding from them to work the way that it is required or needed in the company? Also, a motivated, okay, a motivated leader or manager in order to have a motivated team. Um, but here we have something. If you are better with computers than people, and understanding Clinton better than English, you are not a good fit for our managerial team because to be good as com in computers is not a good characteristic for the managers because they have others to do that kind of activities for them. They need to be better with people, yes? To be and think about people to be empathic, in other words, as you were mentioning. Uh, communicative, you mentioned, okay? Uh, using all methods, multifaceted uh, manager. Not only stuck on one methodology, no. Because you are working with human beings and remember, you, you are working with different types of uh, tempers, yeah? different personalities. And you need to in class, visual presentation, good, good at visual presentations, public speaking, um, sending and answering emails uh, at the teleconferences and face-to-face -face, uh, meetings. And here you have uh, one more about be technically proficient. That is mandatory also because you're going to be the leader, yes? and so on. So congratulations because you read in a very well and analyzed these five uh, requirements for the perfect manager. But now class, what are you going to do? Here we have the purpose is that you identify which sentences are or statements are true or false. Here we're going to work individually, later we share. Do you consider that this statement, number one, is it true or false? It is more important to manage systems than people. Based on what you have discussed in, in the reading of this article, yes? What do you think? Is it true or false? Number one, class, it is more important to manage systems than people. False. False. Okay, very well. Now you continue with the others in silence and later we're going to compare. Yes? Okay, let's do it. Let's work for that. And while you are working on this, okay, I'm going to stop sharing and I'm going to call your names to take your second attendance. And now I have more people, ha ha. That's good. Here we go. Miss Ana Cristina Hernández Serrano, are you here? Ana Cristina Hernández Serrano, absent or here? Okay, no answer. Andre, where are you, Andre? Are you back? Present teacher. Thank you. Arely Isabel. Present teacher. Thank you, Areli. Carlos Enrique Rivas. Present teacher. Great. Dani, Daniel Ernesto. Present. Great. David Emanuel. Present teacher. Great. Daisy Carolina. Present teacher. Thanks, Miss Daisy. Edwin Esaú. Galdames. Mm, today you are a listener. Elisa, Miss Carla. Present teacher. Okay. Evelyn, absent today, Evelyn. Maybe the connectivity. Hmm. Yvonne Menjibar de Castellanos. Present teacher. Thank you, Miss. Guillermo Eduardo Abrego Ramirez. Present teacher. Yes, you have been always here, very responsible. Henry Giovanni, are you back? Giovanni, Henry Giovanni. Henry Giovanni, a listener today. Jennifer Beatriz. Present. 
always here. Juan Eduardo. Present. Mr. Flores, thank you. Catherine Beatriz. Present, teacher. Okay. Okay, Miss Jennifer, no problem. Katia Maria. Katia is absent today. Maritza Elizabeth. Maritza. Present teacher. Thank you. Present teacher. Thank you. Yes, great. Thank you, Miss. Hmm. Miguel Ángel Santos. Present teacher. Noé Gustavo. Present teacher. Oscar Eduardo. Oscar Eduardo, are you here? As a listener? No, he's not. Oscar Humberto, absent. Reina Elizabeth. Present. Thank you. Rosalie Bon. Present. Sonia. Present teacher. Thank you, Miss Sonia. Susan. Susana Carolina. Absent today. Esteli Gómez. Esteli, you were here. Ay, yes, you were here. <laughs> no, I said you cannot disappoint me. Okay, class. Finish uh, working with uh, the statements, true or false. Did you finish? Not yet. Yeah. Okay, you finished. We're going to give one more minute for the other partners, okay? And then we are going to compare. Uh, teacher, the number two is true. Okay, thank you. Here we go. To be a great communicator, uh -huh. one should use as many tools as possible. It is true. Yes? Excellent. Let's go over number three. In order to be technically uh -huh. proficient, giving one's opinion is enough. Is it true uh -huh. or false? False. False. Next one, number four, encouraging teamwork is an important, is as important as being part of the team? Yes. True or false? True. It true. is true. It is true. And number five, if you are a manager, you can skip extra work and have weekends off? True or false? False. 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 Okay, mm -hmm. for the perfect manager, yes, <laughs> it is false because for the real ones, they okay, you know the way it is, but that is the ideal, okay, <laughs> in our dreams, <laughs> yes. And now, class, here the purpose is that you put into practice what you have been practicing yesterday, today, and on Friday. You have to write a seven line paragraph about your work experience and personal information such as studies, experience, and other jobs. Use time expressions, okay? Which are the time expressions uh, we are waiting for you or expecting from you to use? Do you remember those words, expressions, for, since, from, too long? 
this is similar to this one, okay? But now here you have to add your work experience. Let's imagine I'm going to choose one victim, okay? Mm, my victim is going to be Esteli. Okay, we say, Esteli was born in San Salvador, El Salvador in blah, blah, blah. She graduated from blah, blah, blah. And you say, uh, she wanted to be, when you were, okay, uh, an employee, when you were not an employee. But now you can say that uh, your studies and also your work experience and your different positions. Something similar to that one is what you are going to write over here. But that is an individual work, okay? In this spaces at page 18. Is that okay? It is about you. Mm -hmm. About your work experience and personal information, such as studies, experience, and other jobs and positions. Mm -hmm. And if you are planning to move to another job, yeah? You have five minutes to do it. Later, we're going to exchange, okay? So we say, uh, okay, as an example, Ursula, Esteli, Miss Esteli, your parents or your mother or your father are from uh, Nicaragua. Esteli? No, not teacher. <laughs> you know why I am asking, right? Yes, I know. <laughs> <laughs> but no, nothing to do with that. No, oh, no nothing. Okay. <laughs> because it is not a common name. No, it's not. Mm -hmm, but it is a city with that name. So we yes. say, Ursula Esteli Gomez uh, Martinez was born on and then you continue, yes? When you give that general information later, and you switch to your studies and at the end, your work experience. This is just an example, okay? When you finish, you tell me, please. Okay. Okay, great. Let's try to speed up because it is almost time to finish. Almost, almost. We're about to finish. And later I'm going to stay checking your work on the platform. And by the way, let me see. While you are working on that, I'm going to double check. Maybe some of you have been working over here. I'm going to ask the platform to update. Okay, Miss Ana Cristina, if you are listening to me, please, I need you to work in, on homework number one. Andre, you need to finish. You have 92%. Areli, you have 80%. Carlos Enrique, 88%. Congrats to Dani. Daniel, you have 100%. David, 96%. Daisy Caroline, congrats. 100%. Edwin. Uh, Saúl Galdames, 100%. Excellent. Elizabeth, Miss Carla, 100%. Great. You updated it. Evelyn Jamilet, 96%. Um, Miss Yvonne Menjibar, 80%. Mr. Guillermo Eduardo Abrego, 100%. Excellent. Mr. Henry Giovanni, 100%. Great. Miss Jennifer Beatriz, 96% in homework number one. But in homework number two, you have 100%. Miss Jennifer, congratulations. The same as Mr. Henry Giovanni. And uh, Miss Yvonne Menjivar also has 100% in, in section two. Also, let me see, Evelyn. No. Mm -hmm. Okay, Evelyn has 90%. 96%. And Elizabeth, Miss Carla, 100% in section two, one and two, 100%. Great. 
we have Carlos Enrique, 80% in section two. Arely Isabel, 100% in section two. Okay, hold it. Because I was telling you, Jennifer, 96% in section one, but in section two, 100%. Okay, I'm going to move to the next uh, list. Miss Katia Maria de Leon, 80% in week number one, section one. Maritza Elizabeth, congratulations, 100% in section one. Miguel Angel, I need you to work a lot, okay? Because only 20%. Noé, congratulations, 100% in section one and section two. Oscar Eduardo, Melendez, and Oscar Humberto, nothing. You have to work on unit or section one. But Reina Elizabeth, congrats, 100% in section one and 40% in section two. In Noé, 100% in section one and two. And let me see. Sonia, what's going on? What's going on, Sonia Esmeralda? I need you to work on the platform, okay? Susan okay. Caroline, I need you to finish because you have only the 20%. And Ursula, 96% in section one, but section two, you are over 100%. Congratulations, class. Mm -hmm. Now you know your percentages. Very well done. Let me see the messages. Okay, okay. thank you, Christy. And no problem, Miss Jennifer Beatriz. Okay. I know you work very hard and you have a baby boy. So I understand perfectly. But let's continue and write your paragraph. Okay. You please tell me when you finish. Remember to tell me when you finish, okay? Mm -hmm. 
Danny finished. Yeah, teacher. Okay, Danny, we are going to start listening to you because it is almost time. Okay, go ahead. Share with the class, please, Danny. Daniel, read your well, okay. paragraph. Gustavo was born in Santa Ana. I don't know what year, but he worked for 10 years in that city, but now he works in San Miguel. He is a air conditioning technical. He has been working in the company for two years and he feel very happy to work on the on what he likes. Finished. Okay, thank you. Another participant who is over, who finished. Jennifer, please. Okay. I will read, teacher. <laughs> My name is Jennifer Beatriz Mejia Cepeda. I work in Televisores Sargueta uh, since 2018. I started as a cashier in one of 10 branches. After six months, I asked for a change of job position as a sales advisor. I took some courses to learn all about what we sell, about professional audio, instrument, and computer accessories. Then I became a great advisor. I managed to meet my numerical sales goals. And after a year, about 2020, after the COVID pandemic, my boss asked me if I want to become a manager, in a sales manager in one of the branches. I accept, and since 2020, I work as a sales manager. I teach approximately 15 new sales advisor and two manager for the other two new branches. I feel so good in my job, and I have a great teamwork. Okay, Miss, I admire you because I don't like sales, <laughs> and you are a sales manager, and you move from one position to, so in the same company, you have uh, been in three different positions. Yes, congratulations, yes. very well done. Thank you. Great, another participant who is done? Hello, hello. You have to read, you have to participate to practice. Carlos Enrique, Carlos Enrique Rivas, are you ready with your paragraph, Carlos? Hello, Carlos. Okay, are, you, are you ready with your with your paragraph? Not yet. Uh, my advice, my special, uh, my experience in, in is in different areas. For example, document the processes of the company and analysis. Mm -hmm. Finish, uh, <laughs> Only that, okay, very explicit. Okay, explicit. Yes, objective and explicit. Carlos Rivas, I need you to do me a favor, okay? I need you to stay with me after class, is that okay? Okay, teacher. Okay. Carlos, necesito se quede en la clase conmigo cuando terminemos, ¿ok? Yes. Ok, teacher. In English and Spanish, and it was recorded, and everybody listened. All of them are witnesses. Yes? One more participant, or that's ok? Uy, shame on you. Tomorrow you're going to show me, ok, to read your paragraphs. And now, because it is almost time to say goodbye, I need you to activate the cameras to take the final attendance as a picture to see the people who were in class because the connectivity was great for you, or at least at the end it was good. Yeah, because a heavy rain in different places today. Thank you so much for activating your cameras, everyone. I appreciate that. And Mr. Carlos Rivas is going to stay with me after the class, okay? One, two, three, say yes. Okay, thank you. Great. And here, remember, congratulations for the ones who are over. 
okay, with the platform in section one. Remember class, the ones who have already studied with uh, section two, that you in section two in this uh, unit that we're going to start tomorrow, you're going to take the midterm test, okay? Great, good performance class. See you tomorrow and sweet dreams. Relax and see you next session. Okay. Yeah. Have a good you. night. Bye bye. Only Mr. Carlos Rivas stays with the teacher. Bye. Good night. Have a good, good night. night. Good Enjoy. Night. And good night. have a okay, a refreshing and relaxing night. Bye bye. Sleep tight. See you next session. Bye bye. Okay, bye. Bye. See you tomorrow, Henry Giovanni. See you tomorrow, Edwin Esau. See you tomorrow, Andre. Bye bye. Take care. Okay, Mr. Carlos, we're going to wait for them to leave. Bye bye, Miss Jenny. Jennifer, bye bye. See you tomorrow. See you next session, guys. Bye bye. It is the time for the one on one session with Mr. Carlos. Hello, Carlos. Thank you for giving me your time. And we're going to take advantage, okay, of the time. Here, in order to begin with, Mr. Carlos, I need you to help me reading these paragraphs, okay? We're going to practice reading pronunciation. Reading and pronunciation. Bye-bye, Andre. Bye-bye, Henry Giovanni. Bye-bye, Esau. Okay, Edwin, please begin. Reading, you have to read, Edwin. I sorry, Carlos. I was reading the other names. But the microphone, please don't be selfish. Egoista, no active el micrófono, Carlos. And I don't listen to you. Hey, the microphone activated. Uh, excuse and me, teacher. Excuse that's me. good. Now I listen to you perfectly. Great. Begin, please. Okay, be a people person. Not so is people and we are looking for managers who live people. You should uh, be comfortable with conflict resolution. You should know how people work and know how to motivate your team. If you are better with computers than people and understand clean better than English, you are not a good fit for or manager team. Uh, be a good communicator. You should be able to communicate effectively using our methods, including visual presentation, public speaking, email, teleconferencing, and face-to-face. -face. Good communication is a good way straight. You will be required to routinely update your employees on their and the team performance. You will communicate and feedback from upper management and customer and provide status information when asked. Be technical professions. The products we create are not so sort of technical complicated. You don't need to be able to call in C, in C, but you should be able to give technical guessing and decide the basic strategies and method for sources. And no, having watched happy feet on the march of the penguins does not qualify you as technical profession and Linux. Encourage teamwork. Teamwork is important and not so. Not only are you required to encourage the best practices for building teamwork, you are considered a part of the team. We have no doors and not so for you to hide behind. In fact, we have no traditional office space for managers. You are required to sit and work with your staff. Led by example, the best manager leads by example at Noxor. All managers are required to dress and act professionally at all time and to be able to give guidance and help when needed. Leading by example means working late and on weekends with your employees, parking with your employees, and using the same restroom as your employees. 
It is all about doing instead of pontificating and doing the right thing. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Here we have pontificating. 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 Lead. Lead. Because lead comes from leader. Yeah. Leader comes from lead. Lead, leader. Uh, penguins. Penguins. No, penguins. Penguins. Uh -huh. Proficient. Penguins. Proficient. Like. Like. Okay, very well. Now let's go over this conversation that we practiced yesterday. Yeah. Okay, you are Alan and I am Blanca. Begin. What is your social security number? It's three four five six three two four five seven eight six five four. When were you born? Mm, I was born on July the first. Where do you work? I worked in Mulsa. What did you do there? I was the evening manager. When do you work there? From 2005 to 2011. Do you have a university diploma? Yes, I do. I have a BBA. Do you have any chronic medical condition? Yes, I do. I have hypertension. Now we switch. You read what uh, Blanca says and I read Alan. What is your social security number? It is 3456324578654. When were you born? I was born on July 1st. Oh, where did you work? I work in Malsa. What did you do there? I was the evening manager. When did you work there? From 2005 to 2011. Do you have a university diploma? Yes, I do. I have a BBA. Do you have any chronic medical condition? Yes, I do. I have hypertension. Excellent. So you see, when you focus, you have a good reading practice. And then here. You are Julio and I am Anna. Yes? Here we go. Okay, teacher. Tell me about your work, your work experience. Uh, I worked at Unilever for five years. Actually, I worked in this company from 2011 to 2016. I quit because I was offered a new job in Panama. And what happened there? Hmm. It was just for a short period of time. It was just for eight months until my project was done. Then I came back to El Salvador. And you have not worked since you came back? Not really. I have done some independent jobs, you know, but they have not been for long. Now we switch. I read Julio and you read Anne. Tell me about your work experience. I work at Unilever for five years. Actually, I work in this company from 2011 to 2016. I quit because I was offered a new job in Panama. And what happened there? I got you for a short period of time. It got you for eight months until my project was done. Then I come back to El Salvador. And you have not worked since you came back. No, really. I have done some independent jobs, you know, but they have not been for long. Very well. Thank you. And here, okay, you are Andre and I am Kurt. You begin, Andre. Okay, Carlos, okay. you read Andre. Okay. Here, how comfortable do you feel working in the South area? Pretty comfortable, sir. With my experience, I can say this would be a great opportunity. I am sure about that. Look, can you bring to this company as an employee? 
I would be a great asset in the company because of my experience in the construction industry. It sounds great. Yes. And because of my experience as a manager, uh, I could be of great help in large projects. Now we switch. I begin and you read Kurt. Kurt, how comfortable do you feel working in the sales area? It's pretty comfortable here. What my experience? I can say this would be a great opportunity. I am sure about that. Look, can you bring what can you bring to this company as an employee? I would be a great asset in the company because of my experience in the construction industry. It sounds great. Yes, and because of my experience as a manager, I could be of great help in large projects. In large projects. Large Very projects. Large projects, yes. Over here. <clears throat> you are Andre and I am Ben. Okay, you begin. Hello, Ben, and welcome. My name is Andre Rivera. Nice to meet you, Mr. Rivera. We are offering a manager position for a branch in Honduras. What qualification do you have for this job? Well, I can speak English. Also, I can manage a small and big projects. And I am very good at sales. That's a great. Can you speak Chinese? And what about using spreadsheets? Can you use them? I can speak a little Chinese, but I can't use spreadsheets. Uh, but I am fast, a fast learner. I got it. When can you start? Immediately. Okay, now uh, we switch. Okay. Hello, Ben, and welcome. My name is Andre Rivera. Nice to meet you, Mr. Rivera. We are offering a manager position for a branch in Honduras. What qualifications do you have for this job? Well, I can speak English. Also, I can manage small and big projects, and I am very good at sales. That sounds great. Can you speak Chinese? And what about using spreadsheets? Can you use them? I can speak little Chinese, but I can use spreadsheets, but I am a fast learner. I get it. When can you start? Okay, that's it. Hey, Carlos, thank you so much for giving me your time in order to practice reading, okay? And um, have a good night, sleep well, and see you next session, okay? Good night, bye -bye. teacher. Have thank a good you. night. My pleasure. Bye-bye.